hey, it's me. Deep down, I think we all long for happiness. But what does happiness really mean? If you ask different people, you're going to get different answers. Some might say that if only they could achieve a certain goal or get rid of a particular worry, they'd be happy. They believe that fulfilling specific wishes will bring them happiness. Oftentimes, even if those wishes come true, they still find that happiness eludes them. There's this lingering restlessness, a sense of unease they can't quite pinpoint. Why is that? I think it's because true happiness doesn't come from external circumstances or other people, no matter how much we think it does. People who haven't yet realized this often will blame fate, bad luck, or the actions of others for their unhappiness. It's easier to feel like a victim than to look inward and take responsibility. The truth is, happiness lies in our own hands. Happiness lies in our own hands. We have the power to find happiness within ourselves. Of course, you might be wondering, well, how do I do that then? Well, I think first we need to understand what happiness means on a deeper level. Simply put, happiness is about connecting with something greater than ourselves. You may call it finding God, source, connecting with the universe, what have you. The amazing thing is we can find this connection right here, right now. Many people think that this higher power is somewhere far away, unreachable. In actuality, the whole universe exists within each of us. That means this divine presence is within you as well. Every living being has a part of it inside. The only way to reach their inner divinity is by taking a personal journey of self-discovery and growth. The goal is to tap into that higher version of ourselves. And the foundation of that is getting to know, truly know who we are. Of course, getting to know yourself isn't always easy. It means facing parts of yourself that you might not be proud of. It's a continuous process of asking, Who am I really? What do my actions and reactions say about me? Are my motives as pure as I like to think they are? Have I been honest with myself? What are my strengths and weaknesses? While some of us might be aware of our flaws, many of us overlook certain aspects of ourselves. We can't overcome what we don't acknowledge though. Each fault is kind of like a chain that holds us back. So by recognizing and working on these imperfections, we break those chains and move closer to true happiness. Happiness is meant for everyone, but we can't reach it without addressing the things within us that cause unhappiness. These could be our own negative habits or ways we go against what we know is right, like objective truth. Even challenges from our past can be resolved if we're willing to work on ourselves and seek that deeper connection. Like imagine a life where you are completely happy, without sickness, without worries, without the kind of death that often we fear. I know that might sound far-fetched, but as we grow and improve ourselves, we get closer to that ideal. For now, you can gauge your progress by reflecting on your life. How happy am I? What's missing? The areas where you feel discontent often point to where you still have room to grow. So if you're willing to work on yourself, even if your external circumstances haven't caught up yet, you'll start to feel a deep sense of peace and fulfillment inside. So don't be discouraged if problems don't disappear overnight. Changing long-standing patterns takes time. Be patient with yourself. As you continue on this path, though, you'll begin to feel supported by something greater than yourself. 
this isn't just a theory. It's something you'll actually experience. It will be a felt experience for you. You'll notice guidance and help coming your way, sometimes in unexpected forms. These are forces, forces at work that aim to help us grow and find happiness. These forces operate under certain laws, spiritual laws though, like respecting our free will. So they're not going to force help upon us. We have to reach out and ask for it. This means that we need to sincerely desire this connection and be willing to put in the effort. Some people think they can find their way entirely on their own. Even then though, there's often unseen guidance at play. It's important to seek connection with positive influences. Engaging with negative energies or harmful influences often can be damaging, both spiritually and physically. Making contact with this higher guidance isn't always easy. Maybe it shouldn't be, though. Like It's a journey. It's a journey that requires dedication and the willingness to learn and grow. There are ways to recognize whether the guidance you're receiving is genu- genuinely helpful or not. Like true guidance doesn't seek t- to boost its own ego. True guidance won't demand admiration or claim to have all the answers. Instead, it will be patient, loving, and humble, sometimes offering tough truths, always aiming to help you grow though. If you can establish this kind of positive connection, it can be a tremendous blessing. The purpose is to help you find the happiness really we're all searching for, to live a life filled with love, respect, and deep fulfillment that comes from personal growth. Remember, whatever effort you put into this journey, you're going to receive so much more in return. Your happiness is in your hands. And by reaching out and being willing to work on yourself, you open the door to incredible possibilities. Anyway, I just wanted to share these thoughts with you. Let me know what you think. I love you. Let's connect soon.